Despite the unconventional arrangement the provincial capital is already used to, the provincial health office still continued to keep the spirit firm as they hosted the 19th virtual flag raising ceremony on Monday, August 17, 2020. PHO exhibited the achievements of their office, particularly the performance of the 8 MOPH, otherwise known as the Misamis Oriental Provincial Hospitals. In the course of the regular Monday activity, Governor Bambe Emano to Together with PSWDO head Mr. Jinlemar Abelia turned over 250,000 pesos in check to the Provincial Federation of Women's Association Misamis Oriental to aid them in their livelihood projects. The said amount is then distributed to women's association in the 23 municipalities and two cities in the province where each group will receive 10,000 pesos each. The president of Profewa Kalipi and Jennifer Lagrosas conveyed their sincerest gratitude to the father of Miss Samis Oriental for his support to the women's sector in the entire province. Also on Monday was the turnover of masks and protective gears to the provincial government and King Energy from a private company in Taiwan via Zoom. Joining the province was Frontier Environmental and Resources Taiwan, Pures Biotech and All Bioscience, headed by Mr. Chen Sun, Stephen Chen, Mr. Yi Shou Robert Chang, and Mr. Chang Wei Vit Li. Physically representing these donors was Pagro head Jose Apollo Pacamalan who handed over various PPEs, test kits, and disinfectants to the provincial government of Misamis Oriental. Donated were 3,500 pieces of surgical face mask, 600 pieces of N95 respirator mask, 400 pieces of membrane mask, 122 pieces of virus out disinfection, and 98 pieces COVID test kits. Governor Bambe Eman expressed his appreciation to the group and was pleased to inform the good donors that the said donation will definitely go to the frontliners of the province battling COVID-19. Still on Monday, a meeting via Zoom was held at the training center to further discuss the details of the proposed construction of an integrated steel mill in Tagaluan, Misamis Oriental. The event was conducted and participated by different government agencies and by the provincial government headed by Governor Bambi Emano. The meeting centered on the request by the investors, namely China's Huili Fund and Philippine-owned Simple Homes Development Incorporated for Governor Bambi Emano's backing in realizing the project as soon as possible. The governor assured all parties involved of his support as long as all necessary permits needed to safeguard the environment are complied and that their commitment for Misamis Oriental and its people does not waver. Provincial Administrator Attorney Jocelyn Lord Mateo will further draft the memorandum of agreement between both parties so that a tentative possible groundbreaking will soon be realized in the coming days. It was also on Monday that Attorney Jean Raiza Henobatenyano, the Acting Director of the Regional Affairs Service, Philippine National Police Region 10, paid a courtesy visit to the Governor of Misamis Oriental. Aside from being a lawyer and non-uniformed member of the Philippine National Police, she was tasked to handle airing cops in the region. Yano is also a member of the Reserve Force of the Armed Forces of the Philippines with the rank of Captain. In her visit to Governor Bam Emano, they discussed matters on peace and order in the province, collaborative activities in managing the current pandemic, and issues on illegal drugs, among others. In addition to, the Provincial Veterinary Office through the Itikan sa Kalambuan picked up and delivered 175 heads ready to lay docks and 24 drakes at Balingasag, Misamis Oriental. The office of Dr. Benjamin Resma also delivered eight bags of feeds and collected 31 trays of duck eggs at Hasaan and Claveria Misamis Oriental, while the team also conducted three site validations at Kalakapan, Initao, delivered two bags of duck feeds and collected 14 trays of duck eggs. On August 17 and 18, the Scholar Conibambi program runs an orientation at the municipality of Magsaysay and Hinoog City for the new scholars on the respective chapters. 
The orientation is part of the program, which will focus mainly on giving the new scholars the insights on the rules and regulations set by the program and also to casually talk on their lives as students. The program expects to have 3,774 scholars in total for the school year 2020-2021. On Tuesday, August 18, 2020, a ceremonial turnover of 4,000 cocoa seed nuts by the Provincial Agriculture Office was conducted at the municipality of Sugbong Kogon, Misamis Oriental. Mr. Johnny Sumailo, Municipal Agri-Fishery Coordinator for Sugbong Kogon and the Municipal Councilors headed by Councilor Edison Aragua, member of the Committee on Agriculture, expressed their gratitude to Mr. Jose Apolo Pacamalan, head of PAGRO, and to Governor Bambe Emano for their never-ending support for the coconut industry of Sogbong Kogon despite the ongoing pandemic. Coconut is the primary agricultural product of the said town, and the aid by Governor Bambi would be a great help to alleviate the economic recession caused by COVID-19. Governor Bambi is staying true in his commitment by not only continuing but also strengthening the provincial government's efforts to support Misamis Oriental despite the global health emergency. Also on Tuesday, the Provincial Youth and Development Office together with the SK Federation of Misamis Oriental held its SK Colloquium 2020. SK Federation President and ex-officio board member Kerwin Jess Soldivilla officiated the online program with participants from the first batch of SK presidents from different municipalities. The conference is an online discussion of youth leaders in Misamis Oriental in observance of Linggo ng Kabataan and International Youth Day 2020 with the theme Youth Engagement for Global Action. They discussed, among others, the activities and initiatives of the youth, especially during this time that the country is battling COVID-19. On Wednesday, August 19, 2020, the Provincial Agriculture Office together with Mr. Jose Apolo Pacamalan revisited the Ulong Tea Plantation and Processing Center in Barangay Calagonoy, Hingoog City. The said project of Governor Bambi Emano have been recognized by the Department of Tourism as one of the Philippines' best coffee and tea production sites, also being the only Ulong Tea Plantation in the entire country. In fact, it will be featured in this year's Kaina Food and Travel Festival by the DOT Region 10 through an online showcase. Last week, the Plantation and Processing Center was visited by staff from the Department of Tourism Region 10 to document their nursery for seedlings, plantation and the processing center and the finished products. Also on Wednesday, Governor Bambi Emano officiated the oath-taking of Kagawa Jason Ariel Kabulbol of Lugait Misamis Oriental to replace his father, the late Kagawa Junio Lito Kabulbol. The simple ceremony was held inside the provincial governor's office. Still on Wednesday, a team from the Provincial Veterinary Office and LGU Lagindingan conducted a joint operation in the said municipality. The team confiscated and disposed 72 packs of processed pork products for violation of Executive Order No. 002, which prohibits the entry of pork-related products coming from the entire island of Luzon and from Davao region. The confiscated products came from Davao, which is considered an ASF-affected area. On Thursday, August 20, 2020, Governor Bambi Emano, together with the Chairman of the Provincial Interagency Task Force for COVID-19, convened all the heads of the 11 Committee's Rapid Response alongside representatives of the Department of Health Region 10 to further discuss and improve all aspects of existing measures against the pandemic. Ms. Giselle Hanyoso, Development Manager 4 of DOH Region 10, gave her commendations to Governor Bambi Emano and Dr. Jerry Kalingasan for always being one step ahead in preparing Samis Oriental against COVID-19. 
Likewise, on Thursday, the Provincial Agriculture Office conducted an orientation and demonstration on the use of corn machineries such as corn mill and corn sheller at the cold storage facility in Lumbia, Cagayan de Oro City. These machineries were bought by the provincial government through Provincial Agriculture Office and downloaded by the Department of Agriculture Region 10. It is believed that the utilization of these equipments will be a big help to the corn farmers in the entire province for a fast and increased production of corn-made products. Still on Thursday, another 300 food packs was turned over to the municipality of Lugait through the Office of the Provincial Social Welfare and Development from the Provincial Government of Misamis Oriental. It was received by the Municipal Administrator Mr. Emmanuel Valtimoza Pagalan and OIC Municipal Social Welfare and Development Mr. Edgar Indonto. PSW Head Mr. Junle Mar Abelia said these residents will receive rice assistance from the Provincial Government while the area is placed under mandatory lockdown due to the discovery of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the municipality. Also on Thursday, Pagro visited its sericulture and silkworm rearing house in Barangay Anei Claveria. This is part of the program of Governor Bambi to boost the local production of silk as an emerging commodity. The sericulture program in partnership with DOST PTRI helps beneficiaries through providing them with silkworms to rear and produce raw cocoons as well as to plant mulberry seeds as feeds as well as provide local source of silk threads for waivers. On Friday, August 21, 2020, a bloodletting activity dubbed as the Bong Bombo, a little pain, a life to gain, organized by Bombo Radio Cagayan de Oro in partnership with Red Cross and facilitated by the Governor's Office through the effort of the Assistant Provincial Administrator's Office was held at the Provincial Capital Grounds. The donors of the bloodletting activity are capital employees that are willing to help those who might be needing blood and save lives. The request for an exclusive blood donation is also one way to protect the blood donors from the possibility of acquiring coronavirus disease 2019. The repatriation procedures of LSIs and ROFs to Misamis Oriental have continued. From August 15 to 21, the Provincial Public Employment Services Office have assisted 100 returning overseas Filipinos and 105 locally stranded individuals. The challenge of the government is to prevent people from bringing the coronavirus back home. Might be too difficult, but Dr. Jerry Kalingasan and the entire members of the Provincial IATF and staff from PESO are continuously helping each other to contain a possible surge of COVID-19. Aside from monitoring LSIs and ROFs, the Provincial PESO has been working keenly on all its PESO-initiated programs and activities like the Passport on Wheels, Special Program for Employment of Students or SPES, Career and Employment Coaching, Job Fairs, Special Recruitment Activities, Support to Livelihood Programs, and many others, which provided gainful employment and livelihood opportunities to our Misa Misnans. On August 22, 2020, a blessing, at the same time a Mass, of Christ the King Echo Chapel in Hingoog City took place with the theme, Ang Katawhan Nga Naghiusa, Makapanday Sa Kalinaw Uban Sa Mga Pagampo. The blessing of the sanctuary and the Holy Mass, headed by Monsignor Raymond Santo, is graced by the people from the community, religious sector, and some of the provincial capital employees. This religious celebration shows that the faith of the people remains tight despite the challenge in faith brought by the pandemic. On his message, Rev. Father Ruth De Velos, SSJV, expressed his gratefulness to Governor Bambi Imano for the support that he has given to help him as the project had realized his desired chapel and future shrine which is the tallest Christ the King statue in Asia. Go 
Governor Bambi could not be prouder of all that we have collectively accomplished in 2020. The public would often say that they have never seen a governor more supportive and enthusiastic than him. But how could Governor Imano not be? He gets some of the most dedicated employees, residents, business owners, and community leaders in this province. In fact, there are only two types of people right now, those that live in Misamis Oriental and those that wish they did. Jinkerosin, PIO.